Hi Sagittarius, it's Elle here to do your next 72 hour energy reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Sag. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing Sag with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so we have in the near future, we have self-employment, and we have have faith in your dreams, waxing crescent moon. Okay, so this is pretty self-explanatory. It says that if you have questions or you're asking about if something will occur, of course it's going to happen for you in the near future. You don't have a lot of time to wait or to toil over this. Um, just stay optimistic and um, continue doing what you've been doing. You be open to receiving messages, help people also. Um, self-employment coming out. If you are not already self-employed, then it, it speaks of how um, you're guided to become you know, self-employed, even if it's going to be something that you do part-time to start out and then you're going to kind of like gradually work into it full-time. If you're already self-employed, then it talks about seeking out new ways to express your business, express your vision, maybe even partner with other people who can give you um, better ideas. Um, it talks about putting in long hours, but you being devoted to your calling because it is your business. You are self-employed. Um, you also can get with a mentor um, that can teach you business skills, um, the, how to follow your path towards even more of your true interests. You need to focus on um, your purpose and um, maybe serving others also. So it shouldn't just be the focus on making money. What are you, you know, what, what are you serving to other people? What service are you giving? What is the exchange happening between you and a potential customer? What are they getting for their money? Um, is it of value? Is it of uh, the best value? So you have to really look at yourself and what you're giving um, and make sure that the exchange, the equal, the mutually beneficial exchange is happening here. Um, once you do that, the rest will take care of itself and money will come to you if you believe in your product and what you're giving out, okay? You also, this, this card could talk about taking business classes, just learning how to better market your business. It can even talk about taking over a family business or changing professions altogether. Um, so then we have have faith in your dreams, the waxing crescent moon. Uh, just because you don't see your dreams manifesting immediately doesn't mean it's not happening for you. Don't look back. Stay focused on moving forward because so much times we can do that when we don't see things turning over rapidly for us. Then we want to go back to where we came from. Be patient because events are unfolding here. Um, dig a little bit more deeper to find more, more courage in yourself, more opportunity, more opportunity to put yourself out there, put yourself in your business, your service, or whatever it is you have, you can put it out there first. Um, even if you can't start the business tomorrow or today, you can do something in, in regards to this business and keeping the dream and the idea alive. It could be coming up with a name today, um, tomorrow, coming up with a logo, drawing it out, just spending some time each and every day doing what you can. Um, if it takes that you've got to get a certain certification, you don't have that certification, what can you do now? so that you're all ready to go when you, it's time to go. Uh, this card can also talk about uh, wanting to be more um, self-reliant and self-sufficient too in your life in terms of, of course, monetarily in your business. Also, this card can talk about wanting to go it alone in relationships too, wanting to uh, be single, acting single even in relationships. Um, somebody is... Uh, well, you're a mutable sign, so you can mutate to the energy that is that you're in. So, um, and nothing is set in stone with you. You 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 can move about, and you'll change your mind frequently. Um, 
Sagittarius is the, the, the sign of the entrepreneur. Um, it just looks like you just need to stay focused on what it is, on what the outcome should be or what you want it to be. You need to be focused on your end game here. Um, even in relationships, if, if the end game is to be um, solo or to be the eternal bachelor or bachelorette, then you need to express that. You need to come up with better ways of how to express that alongside of having the casual relationship that you might want. Um, in the near future, um, answers to your questions will come about. All right, so this is your reading, Sag. I hope that it resonates for you. If it does, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text a question to the number below. If you want to manifest new energy, newness in your life, get in on the new moon manifestations that's happening tomorrow, July 9th. There's a link below of where you can click to um, sign up for the New Moon Manifestation Session. Um, if you want to manifest new love, new streams of income, um, if you want to banish fear, anxiety, people, places, events that have happened or uh, things in your life that don't serve you, get in on the New Moon Manifestation. The link is below. Um, all links are below if you need to get your own reading just like this one go to the website level. Thank you, Sag. Many blessings to you. Take care.